Hey, hey, everybody. Happy Friday. Once again, my camera is a bit crooked. Hello. It's been two weeks. I've got so much to tell you. Um, hopefully you were following along with my little fun trip that I took uh, last week. Posted lots of pictures here. There's also lots of pictures over on my blog if you'd like to check them out. It was an amazing experience. It was exactly what it needed to be and I just feel recharged and um, rejuvenated and just inspired. It was wonderful. So I'm happy to be back here with you guys today. It's been a wonderful week this week as well. <laughs> My kids are away on a trip, on a ski trip. You know, that rarely, rarely happens um, for the kids to all be gone at the same time. So it's been very quiet here. I've gotten a lot done. Um, so I just, I don't know, I feel rested, I feel relaxed. <laughs> uh, that'll all come to a crashing end this weekend, I'm sure, when they get home. Lots of laundry. But anyway, today we're using the Let's Set Sail bundle. I have loved this bundle from the moment I saw it. It includes a punch, um, pu builder punch is what we call this, um, to make the little sailboat. I'll show you a couple of tick tips and tricks. Um, if you watch the clean recordings of these videos, you'll see me mess it up. <laughs> but that's it. That's fine. I got the mess ups out of the way. Hopefully today I won't mess up. Um, you know, when you film a video, when you record a video, you can edit it and fix it and do all that. When you are doing a live, you cannot. So we'll see. Hello to all of you. Oh, you know what? I need to turn on my iPad. Um, I thought I would spend the first couple minutes just sharing some things with you that I received last week um, in Salt Lake City. I earned the Million Dollar Sales Achievers <sighs> Retreat, I think is what they called it. And uh, myself and um, some other amazing ladies who've all reached a million dollars in sales um, went to Stampin' Up! home office and spent several days and it was fantastic. Um, my favorite keepsake I think is my little name badge. <laughs> so funny. Um, makes you really official. They use these to get in all the doors and the elevators. So we all felt very official. Um, I thought I'd show you guys that. The other really cool thing, um, Stampin' Up! is known for their pillow gifts on all of our, our trips. They leave a, um, a gift on your bed each day and um, it's always something amazing and these gifts were no exception and what I really loved is that the wrapping and the cards were all personalized to each of us um, so when I hit my million dollars in sales I got this over-the-top elaborate beautiful card you probably can't see it. it's back in the corner um, from Shelly and Sarah and at that time, they always ask you, you know, what's your favorite stamp set? What are your favorite papers? And so all of my little gift tags um, and cards all match. They use those stitched flowers. Um, and then, of course, that paper is retired. Um, but it was my favorite at the time. But they saved it to make all my little... Um, my little keepsakes. I just thought that was really special. My friend Angie, hers all had her million dollar stamp Bella and friends on it which is retired also which I just thought that was a really clever attention to detail so cute so 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 cute um so you know everything was they they asked us you know what's your favorite purse brand which I don't really have I just buy I don't, I'm not into I'm not really into like name brands I just buy stuff that's cute and somebody had asked me what I had told them and that's what I told them but I also mentioned a um, a brand called Consuela and it's from here in Texas. I believe it's in Austin and they have really funky kind of, um, I don't know, Southwestern type bags. And I always buy the, the medium, I think it's the medium makeup bag for all of my downline when they promote Silvery Elite. It's the gift I give them. They're real fancy. So that's what I got. I got, um, a bag, a beautiful bag and a wallet and then the last day, our gifts didn't arrive. Apparently, they didn't get delivered. So in the morning when we left, um, they I, and I didn't show this to you guys on the blog, we all had this necklace waiting. And on the side, on this side, it has the date 
that I signed up to be a demonstrator. And on this side, it has the date that I hit my million. And then on that side, it says a million. So I thought that was really special too. Really, the the girls that planned all of this are amazing. Like, I, amazing, right? I, I don't think I could have ever come up with all the little details that they um, that they could have come up with. Um, we also got a million dollar stamp the day we got there. Um, we got it in clear and in red rubber. I haven't done anything with it yet, but I certainly will. Um, it was a spectacular week. And, and the thing that I forgot about that happens at every Stampin' Up! event is you make new friends. I always say that about every event. And it has been literally, well, I guess we had the incentive trip in the summer, but two years really of no events. And I didn't anticipate the friends again, you know, making new friends, spending time with old friends. And that's always the very best part of Stampin' Up! Um, events. So that, that was probably my favorite part. Yes, we got spoiled, but man, it was good to be with Stampin' Up! friends. It was great. Um, so I got swap cards and I was going to show you, I, I didn't make swap cards. I didn't have time, but of course they all just brought cards for everybody and handed them out. So, um, you'll, you, I'm sure you'll know some of these names. This is Rachel Tessman's card using that. I can't remember the name of it. Something luck. I think this is from Robin Carden, pink and black. She and I, sometimes get confused for each other because our blog names both have pink in it and we both have blonde hair. <laughs> so she made a card that was pink and black, which, you know, you guys know, I love that. This is, I hate to pick favorites, but this is my favorite, right? This came from Don Griffith and um, I just have to show you this stamp set. You may not have noticed it. It's a host stamp set that you can get free with a hundred when you spend $150. Um, it's in the very back of the spring catalog and it's a fancy fold. See that? And then look, she made like the cheese out of the picture this dies. And then, I mean, hello, that's an amazing swap card. How many hours did it take her to make that? And of course it has my Buffalo check on it. So that was my favorite. Not that I'm picking favorites, but it was. Um, this is from Irene. Irene is from Germany. We had two ladies from Germany there. I love that. Um, I love this whole suite. So good. This one is gorgeous. This is from uh, Susan Morton. All purple. Beautiful. And then this one is from Alexandra. And I don't know how to say her name. Last name. Gra Grape. Uh, she's from Germany too. Gorgeous. Gorgeous stampers. And then this one isn't a card. It's really clever and I'm gonna case it. We're gonna make this. Um, it is a little, it holds, she made these scissor charms. Um, I'm drawing a blank, Natalie Travis, that's who made it, Natalie Travis. And I just thought that was really pretty. And silver and gold, I thought that was appropriate. So that's amazing. I mean, it was all amazing. I just, even my husband, my husband's always impressed with Stampin' Up, but he got like emotional, overwhelmed, like, oh my God, this is amazing, you know? So I think that's probably the second best part is for our husbands to be able to see how amazing the company is and how much they appreciate us and all of that. So anyhow, that's that. If you wanna read all the details, go look at my blog. I have a few cards that I got in the mail also that I wanted to show you. This is from Kelly, um, Heart and Home. Um, Sweet, which I have not used at all until today we're using some of that paper. Look, and the bee is like, like on a spring. Very cute, very cute. Thank you so much, Kelly, I love it. This one, this one is from um, Tabitha. I think this is that paper pumpkin kit, the pun, punny paper pumpkin kit that we had. Very cute, I do like puns and I like faces. And I like stamps with faces. I do. Okay. <laughs> this one is from Patty. Very purple as well. So cute. It's backwards. I know. Backwards. Fabulous is what you are. That's a beautiful stamp. And I remember that background stamp. We don't have any more, but I love it. 
Um, this one is from, oh, Kathy Crow. She's in my downline. She always sends, she's so good about sending thank you cards. Um, lots of, lots of elements on here. Lots of beautiful things. Again, heart and home. I think maybe I need to pull that out and get on board with it. <laughs> We're running out of time with these catalogs, you guys. We're running out of time. Ooh, okay, Chris sent this. And Chris, there wasn't a note in it unless I dropped it, but there's no note, but look at this card. Okay, watch. Look at that, do you see? Look, like that, and um, excuse me, what? That's very fancy, and that will be getting cased as well in the next few weeks. So Chris, thank you very much. Very fancy over the top card. I'm putting it to the side. And this one, you guys are gonna love this one too. This is from Sherry. Lots of cute little elements. Um, that gingham is just cute. I don't know what that is, but that's adorable. And look, she added color to the middle of the daisies. And of course, that ladybug, which we all loved. So cute. And then this one is from um, Catherine. And this is a stamp set that I gave away last week with everybody who put in your orders over $100. You got the stamp set for free. It was um, the host stamp set during celebration. And I didn't use mine at all before it was time um, to for everything to retire. But that is that is gorgeous. Very, very pretty. Oh, and then this little thing inside, it says, special people are God's way of smiling at us. Isn't that sweet? I'm going to put that up on my message board. So thank you. Very beautiful. Then I have a couple other things. Um, this one is from, I forgot. God, you guys. Marnie. Oh, this is, of course, from Marnie. Do you guys remember the Adirondack chair? Oh, loved it. Loved, loved, loved it. Thank you, Marnie. Um, I sent her the wrong class kit. <laughs> and she sent it back to me with a cute card. So anyway, and then this one is from Jessica, who's in my downline. She sent this with her swaps. Um, this is a little design that holds a little seed packet, but look what was in it. Let's take that off. A little Buffalo Check bunny banner. Jessica, so cute. Thank you so, so, so much. I love it. It's very cute. Hey, and I got these in the mail from somebody in Australia. There was no note. Yeah, no return name, nothing. So if you sent me these, look how cute these are. Thank you. Whoever you are, let me know it was you because they're so cute. And they came all the way from Australia and they did not melt. Oh my gosh. So very cute. Very cute. I have started a new diet. And I will not be eating sugar for a while. I, it is time. <laughs> it's time to put the sugar away. Oh, okay. Um, what should I tell you guys? Oh, okay. Let's see. I've got a lot of things to tell you. Um, Club Create, the subscription period right now is for April between March 7th. No, between March 8th and April 7th. That is a subscription period for April. April's kit features... Cactus Cuties, and we'll be making four cards and a journal. Um, here's the, oh, I just pulled that off. Here's the journal. Um, if you are not a subscriber to Club Create, um, you can subscribe anytime. It's $39. Um, it is an automatic renewal, but that doesn't mean you have to stay in forever. You can cancel anytime. You could stay in for one month, say, mm, no more. That's it. Done. And unsubscribe. You're not going to hurt my feelings. I keep shaking the table. I don't know why I'm doing that. Um, or you can stay in and it'll automatically charge you every month on the same date that you signed up. So if you signed up on the 15th, every month on the 15th, you'll know that it's going to charge you until you cancel. Um, and then when you stay in six months, you get a $25 product credit. Um, so here is April's. If you subscribe right now, this is what you're going to get. Super duper cute. Um, Club Create always includes about $20 in product, um, a PDF and a video and five projects. And it includes, the $39 includes the shipping, which I have been working on the last two days for this month. And let me tell you that I am about to throw my label printer through the window. That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> So frustrating. I think I'm done, so I think they'll ship on time, but I was kind of getting worried that I wouldn't get my labels printed. Anyways, if you would like to join Club Create, you have until April 7th for that one. I don't know what we're doing in May. 
Um, I don't know anything past April. Um, I did see the annual catalog. However, it was like a five minute flip through with all of us standing around looking at it. I have one memory of something that was in it. Other than that, I can't remember anything else. So I have no idea what we're gonna do in May. I'd really like to use new products from the annual catalog. So if you're in Club Create, I will let you know as soon as I know. We demonstrators get to see that catalog um, next week. So, and then we order April 1st. Um, so I'm hoping by, well, I probably won't have it done by the time the subscription opens, but you'll at least know what you're getting. All right. Um, seize the day. I feel like this class, <laughs> I've been advertising this class for about a year, but it's only been about a month. The seize the day class to go. The deadline for this is Friday. Um, and it will ship the week after. There is um, a slight delay on shipping because the um, sea glass shapes are on back order right now. They are due in the week of April 4th. But what I've been finding is that things are coming in earlier. So hopefully that will happen with these and I will get them out on time. They're supposed to ship on April 4th, but it may be a few days late. Anyway, this is a class to go. It's standalone. It's not a subscription. Um, you, It's a one-time payment that you purchase the class to go. Um, you can get it with the bundle, without the bundle, PDF only, and then my team gets the um, kit for a discount. Yes, if you're a demonstrator, you can buy the PDFs. I have a PDF store. There's a tab at the top of my blog that says PDF store. And every PDF, almost every PDF I've ever made is in there. Um, and that sh is an immediate, um, email like it e emails you immediately if it doesn't show up within like five minutes let me know sometimes they get lost in space and i will resend it to you but this class if you want the class kit it's going to include some of this amazing paper we're using some of it today the waves of the ocean dsp you're going to get a pack of the rhinestones half a pack of the sea glass a um, pack of twine um, and six projects okay and i actually ordered cardstock today so I can start cutting and prepping for these next week. So if you want in on that, please let me know. Just email me um, for the the link. The, I can't post registration link on uh, my blog. I can only send it through email. If you're on my email list, it will be in every email that I've sent. If you're not on my email list, you guys, make sure that you're on my email list. Some weird, scary things have been happening to friends of mine where FB, we don't want to say their name, like shuts them down, deletes all their stuff, all their, it's scary. So the best way to make sure that you, if that ever happened to me, the best way is that you are on my email list. I only send emails when I need to. I don't send like every day on Tuesday. I used to do that, but I don't do that anymore. Only send it when I need to tell you something. Um, I would say I send two to three emails a month. I'm not going to spam you. Um, and if you subscribe and you don't get them, check your spam because my newsletter, I sub subscribe to my newsletter and it goes to my spam folder. <laughs> so whatever. Ah, it's frustrating. Okay. Now I have a couple more things to tell you. I have two classes for April planned and ready to go. Um, I won't list them probably until next week. And they're both kind of special. They both include things that are out of publication. Okay, kind of weird. The first one is the Shaded Summer class. If you guys remember way back during celebration number one in the summer, we had dyes that went with this. Well, I collected a bunch of them with all of my celebration choices, and I'm offering a class with these. It'll also be offered if you already have the dyes, but that is coming next week. I just wanted to give you a little sneak peek of it. Very spring, springy, light colors. And then I have a second class, which I don't normally do. Um, usually I have one class and one club, but we're gonna have two classes in one club next month. It's the birds and branches class, this one. And it's going to feature another celebration stamp set. The second time I collected all of these, this is a fantastic stamp set um, that I will be offering. You'll get those for free in the option that you, you know, if you choose option one with the die or with a second stamp set, you'll get that. Um, but that one, look at, you can see it has kind of more darker regal colors. Um, all the details on both of those will come out. 
Um, I, I kind of would like to see if I can do it so that they ship together. The only problem is that it takes me three or four days to cut and pack one. I don't know. My brain is still working that out. So stay tuned, okay? So that'll come next week. Next week's the last week of March, right? Oh my gosh, it's not. We still have a week after that. Wow. Um, it's coming. It's not ready. PDF's not ready, but it's coming, okay? Okay. Um, waves of the ocean promotion. <laughs> um, remember that some things I'm going to show you today, um, not the stamp set that I'm not using that today, but it would go really well with what we're using today. But the paper, the foil, the rhinestones are all available online only. You can't find them in a catalog that's available. Savings in bloom is, hold on, let me grab it. The little baby cut and emboss machine. That's not the official name, but that's just what I call it is 20% off, as well as 13 different bundles. Um, some really great bundles, like this one, um, the cats, the wild cats, the controversial wild cats, you guys, on sale. Um, the, the hydrangeas, what's cooking, lots of, of bundles. So if you're interested, I will have a link to my store. When you go to stamina.com, it pops up and you'll be able to see it. But 20% off for this, I think it's really a good um, good deal. They have never put that on sale before, and who knows if they ever will again. Um, I think it's really cute. Even if you have the big one, it's nice to, to use that little one sometimes because it's not very hard to crank. Okay, I'm cleared off, we're good. And we're ready. Um, if you've never joined me for Faith, <laughs> Anne Marie, I was hoping you were here. Anne Marie and I go back and forth with the Wildcats. We go back and forth. I am bound and determined to like the Wildcats and to make Anne Marie like them. <laughs> and this week, we found a card that somebody uh, made with the Wildcats using pinks, right? It was pinks. I think it was the, the Pattern Party DSP, and it was adorable. So Anne-Marie and I have accepted the challenge and we're going to make some cute cat cards. Um, Judy says that the, um, was it Judy? I'm sorry that they're going by. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Judy, I, that's why they're controversial. Sorry, the, the um, comments are delayed. I'm looking on my phone. Um, Vicky is the one that said the mini cut and emboss machine is great for camping. I know a lot of you do a lot, a lot of camping and it's great for camping. It folds up. I never show you guys that it folds up because mine's just always open, but it folds up like that. And look, it's just tiny. It's just cute. If you have kids, it's perfect for kids too. If you have arthritis, I don't know why my table is bouncing like that today. That's really weird. Um, if you have arthritis, um, or like strength issues, um, it's, I think it's way better than the big one. Okay. Today, Facebook Friday, we are featuring the Let's Set Sale. If you've never joined me for Facebook Friday, um, hop over to pinkbuckaroo.com. Has anybody checked? Is it up? Um, it should be. You guys, I updated my Mac today. If you have a Mac, be prepared because it changes everything. It took like an hour and a half. I was That was part of the stamps, trying to print postage thing. I had to update and whoa. Okay, so in the middle of all that, I was trying to get my blog post up. Fingers crossed, it's up. Fingers crossed, the video's posted. I don't know. It has been one of those tech days where you just want to throw everything through the window. But over there, there should be a pinkbuckaroo.com. Let me see. I'm trying to get caught up on my comments. Um, pinkbuckaroo.com. I'm distracted every time I read the comments. This is there. It's free. It has measurements and supply list. Susan just asked a great question. Do you know when the retired list comes out? Yes. Thank you for bringing that up. I didn't even mention it. The 23rd. Okay, now wait a minute. The 23rd is the day the demonstrators get to see everything. I'm not sure if that's for customers or not. So hold tight. Somebody here will let us know. I can't remember. Uh, I don't know. I should know that. And I don't. Anyway, uh, yeah, Emery, don't update. Do not update. You got to give it some time. It, it literally looks totally different. Your computer's going to look totally different. Um, the cover photo is showing the deer. Laurie, thank you for telling me that. I will fix it. So if you guys go over there, it's the 
I just didn't change the thumbnail. So I forget to do that all the time. Okay, so anyway, Facebook Friday. If you like the projects today and you'd like for me to send them to you for free, I do that with a um, $35 order, $35 or more order. This is what they look like. They come to you. You will need this Let's Set Sail um, bundle ink and adhesive. I will send you everything else. I do not send stamped images. Um, you have to do that yourself. Demonstrators get the PDF on March 23rd. So Deb, when, so not customers. Customers will get April 1st, right? The retired list. The new catalog comes out May 3rd, but what about the retired list for customers? You know, I typed up my team meeting notes this week, yet I can't remember any of this. Somebody's going to tell us. Also available. Okay, Susan says it's also available for customers that day. Okay, so, and it goes live like 1 o'clock Mountain. I will post it as soon as I get it so you guys can see what's retiring, okay? I'm also going to soon have a sign-up for catalogs if you need or want to catalog. I will send a sign-up. I automatically send many catalogs to anybody who's ordered with me in the last six months, but the annual catalog is bigger and heavier, um, so I always ask if you want it um, because I know a lot of people are demonstrators yourself, even though you order with me for things. So you'll get one automatically and I don't want to send you one if you're going to get one. Anyway, I'll have more info, more info on that next week. Facebook Friday. I can't finish a sentence today. Free make and takes. This is what they look like when they come to you. You spend $35 or more between now and Monday at midnight, and I will send you today's projects for free. Totally free. Um, there's a host code. It's at the top of this page right here. And it, um, I keep reading comments and I lose my train of thought. Um, use that host code. Unless your order is over $150, um, don't use the host code because then you'll get stamp and rewards. Um, and you like that mouse set you could get for free. Um, or, and I will still send you the make and takes for free, even if you don't use the host code and your order is over 150. However, if you, if your order is like 50 bucks and you don't use a host code, I'm going to take that as a sign that you don't want the make and takes. So make sure you use that host code. If you forget, just email me. I can fix it. Uh, Stampin' Up! can fix it. And that way, I just want to make sure that I send them to people who want them. Okay? Um, you know what, Carla? I'm seeing your question. And I'm going to flip you guys around. I'm seeing your question. Am I going to do an Alzheimer's fundraiser? You know, I kept thinking, what did I do last April? I can't remember what I did last April. And I never went and looked. And that's what I did last April, a Alzheimer's fundraiser. I need to do one. You're right. I do them about once a year, and I haven't done one in a while. Good question. Thank you for putting that in my brain. I don't have one planned, but I would like to do one. Um, door prizes from last week. Nicole Flor Florno. Nicole, I'm sorry. Flornoy. Flornoy. Ah, I'm the worst at pronouncing names. Melissa Baker Morales. I can pronounce that. I don't believe I have either of your mailing addresses. So please message me so I can send you a prize. Thanks for sharing the video. I do always appreciate that. I have two brag worthy. I think I've given this one away before. Um, I just really like this stamp set. So I'm giving two more away. All you have to do is share the video either on Facebook or on YouTube. And you'll be entered to win. And I will pick a winner next week. All right, now let me just clear things off and we will get started stamping. I hope you guys have had a good week. Um, spring has sprung here in San Antonio. Although this morning when I went for my walk with Peps, it was freezing. I thought it was going to turn into an ice cube. It was so cold it motivated me to do some intervals and run because I wanted to warm up. It, you know, I have to be really motivated to run. I like to just walk, but anyhow. All right, let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is make this adorable card. Um, I'm trying to think, it seems like there was something I needed to tell you about, I don't know. Is the camera moving? I have the fan on, and if it starts to do that swaying, you guys tell me. Once the temperatures get warm here, I have to turn the fan on in my office because it's super warm. All right, hold on. I had to have a little drink. Okay, 
the first card we're going to make. Oh, Pam says, last chance products March 23rd through May 2nd. Okay. The, the reason I was hesitant to say that was because there was something I had heard somewhere along the way about April 1st. And who knows? I, there's so much detail information. I, you know, I need to, I don't have an upline to keep me <laughs> informed. I have to inform myself. So sometimes I'm lacking in the details, but I always know someone here will know. All right. The first thing that we're going to do is make this nautical stripe background. We don't, this is not paper. What, um, you might think it is. We have some memory and more cards and envelopes in the spring catalog. And I just realized like yesterday that there's a card base in there that looks like that. But that's not what I did. I'm going to show you how to make that. Um, and I screwed it up twice in the clean recording yesterday. So everybody cross your fingers and your toes that I get it right. Sometimes it takes a few tries to get things right. Um, we are using... Misty Moonlight. Did you guys know that Misty Moonlight is retiring? Misty Moonlight, Magenta Madness, Bumblebee, Cinnamon Cider, and Just Jade. Those are the five retiring in colors. When that retiring list comes out next week, we know, we don't know what's on it except for the that group of in colors because they always last two years and then they retire. So if you love any of those five in colors, I want to encourage you to make sure that you get your ink refill, your Stampin' Blends, your marker, your cardstock, your DSP pack, um, the there's embellishments, there's lots of goodies, okay? Because those usually sell out before the end of the retirement period. And I always get emails asking, do you have a refill for such and such? Do you have a refill for such and such? Um, so your ink pad will last a really long time if you have an ink refill, and they're just $3, three, 50, 325. So that's, we're going to use Misty Moonlight a lot today. I know a lot of people love Misty Moonlight. All right. Now this piece of cardstock right here is four by four and a fourth. The four inch side goes across the top and it's four and a fourth this way. So I want to turn it that way on my Simply Scored to make these stripes. I'm going to start by just making quarter inch score lines and you can do this with your marker first without making the score lines that's how I did it the first time no problem but yesterday when I was making the clean recording of this project that's over on YouTube I could not for the life of me get it to stay straight so I realized if you just do your score line like this that's going to help your marker stay in place better all right, so after you've done that, go back with your light, um, misty moonlight, stamp and blend. I'm trying to concentrate, so I'm talking really slowly. Take your stamp and blend, and then it'll just stay in that gutter that you've created and be le whoops, be less likely to do that you know, that slippage. All right, almost there, and we did it. <laughs> Yay! All right, so not hard. You can make that stripe any color, and you know what? If you turn it this way and do the stripes again like this, then you've got a plaid, right? You don't need a stamp for that. You just use your Simply Scored. All right, so we're gonna put that on our card base, but we're gonna do some cutting as well. Um, I am using several dies, and I didn't pull out the whole die sets because, funny story, is that I have multiple sets of these because these are dies that I use a lot. So because of the volume I do for classes and stuff, I have several sets of those that I use a lot. So I have a lot of those, and it would be confusing if I showed you. And I was too lazy to take them off and put them on their own. <laughs> on their own magnet so we're gonna we're gonna run them through um using the mini and my plates have been well loved and they are a little bit wonky do you guys use that word wonky i really like that word 
We actually have an elementary school here named Wonky, somebody's name. <laughs> um, that is a strip of Misty Moonlight with the, um, I think it's more of like a cloud border um, from the basic border dies, but it also serves well as a little ocean edge. And this is post-it tape that I'm using. If you haven't used post-it tape, you're welcome. I've just introduced you to something that will change your life. <laughs> that may be a little, little bit of a stretch to say that, but I do love it. All right, this is the, ta the tailor-made tags. You can also ink the embossing folder and make a stripe background. Yes, Carolyn, but I don't think we have a stripe embossing folder anymore. Um, I have done that. I have done that. This is the second smallest. <laughs> I had to think about it. There's one more smaller and then this one. All right, and then we're going to do um, the clouds. These are from the Give It a Whirl dies. And I forgot we have a cloud punch. Hello, we could use the cloud punch too. I love the cloud punch. But I do love it. Love these Give It a Whirl dies. You know, that Give It a Whirl die set I have used over and over and over and over again, but I have never actually used it for to make the spinner, the whirl. We got to do that. We have got to do that. All right, so we've got that. Now, let's start putting it all together. We need to stamp our um, sailboat. And this is a builder. Let me get it over here. This is a builder sailboat. So what you wanna do is punch it out of scrap paper, okay? And then you wanna take the stamps and just set them down. You're making a template for your um, block, all right? You wanna set them down in there, wiggle them around, get them nice and centered. You can put the, is that called a mast, that part that sticks up? I call it the bit, the base of the boat, but I know that's not what it is. The mass, that part. You could put that on there too, and then everything would line up. But I'm gonna stamp that in a different color. So I'm not gonna put it on my block, okay? So then you pick it up, and now when we stamp it, it's gonna be in the right place. Um, by the way, please notice how clean this ink pad is. We talked about how this looked like it had been through a murder scene. I thought I had ordered a replacement, but the, apparently I didn't. The one that really needed a replacement. <laughs> I'm slowly replacing my nasty ink pads. Um, okay, so before you stamp this, take your punch and kind of imagine how that needs to be. Uh, that you can see that if you slide it in, that larger sail needs to be like that, okay? Um, if you do it differently, then you're probably gonna have to cut your cardstock in order to get to it. All right, real red, and then you just line it up and you punch. All right, a mass, Nancy, that's right. Okay, we have a boat, but it is not a sailboat, and I wouldn't be able to tell you the names of any of the parts anyway. Next, we're gonna do soft suede. This one is kind of weird. If you look at it, when you stick that in, it's kind of slanted that way, so I'm gonna stamp it in soft suede slanted like that, okay? And then punch. There we go. All right, now I think, oh no, we gotta do a little bit more stamping. We're gonna take this horizon die. Would you call that a horizon die? It's like the water where maybe like the moonlight or you know the sunlight or whatever is going off the, the horizon. I'm gonna stamp this in misty moonlight, but I'm gonna stamp off first and I'm gonna stamp it right about there. And then we're gonna stamp the sentiment in real red. Oh, sorry, Lisa. It's been one of those days, huh? Real red right there. Car problems. Ugh, I hear ya. Never fun, never fun. All right, we are ready. Let's put all of this together. I'm gonna take this 
And I gotta get all of my tools out. Nothing is out. And we're gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be really heavy handed with my adhesive here because it's a little bit, the paper kind of curled with all those score lines. So if I put a lot of adhesive, I think I like the, that to be the top side. If I put a lot of adhesive, it will stick down nicely. Mm, gotta make sure it's centered because once I stick this down, there's no going back with that amount of adhesive. All right, now it looks like it's a little bit long, so we'll just trim. Reflection, that's a good description of that stamp. The reflection, the reflection in the water. Okay, now I'm gonna take our stitched border, which is probably a cloud, but we're making it the ocean. And we're gonna put that down across the bottom. All right, now I'm gonna put this with dimensionals, this tag. Like that. And, you know, you could tuck it down in the water like that. No, I think I want it above. Like that. And then we'll use a little bit of Tombow. And I'm just gonna put a little bit here on the bottom and just maybe halfway up the mast. You know, we have a vocabulary lesson every week during Facebook Friday. Somebody always, there's always somebody who knows the answer to what something is called. Always. You guys are a wealth of knowledge. If I need to know something, I just ask you guys. All right, now, the smaller one goes right up here. I put a dimensional on the back and it's right here so that it'll be even with that tag right there. And then this one, well, it looks like I put the dimensional too low, but it'll still work. And you want them to kind of touch at the top, whoops, and the bottom. Okay, isn't that pretty? You can just see it moving, like it looks like it's blowing in the wind. Do any of you sail? Do we have any sailors here? We have a ski boat. We don't really actually ski. <laughs> we just hang out in the water and have fun. Um, but, but we don't sail, that's for sure. All right, so I kind of overlap those with dimensionals. And then last but not least, I have been using so much of the black and white twine that goes with this ribbon. They come together. That now I have a lot of this adorable little striped ribbon. So we need to use it up. So we're gonna, I'm gonna try to use it in the next few weeks on all the cards. I don't know if it's coming back. I kind of hope it's coming back, but it's already two years in the catalog. I, I always feel like mm, two years, you probably don't have a lot of, um, the chances of something staying longer than two years are, in my opinion, low. Now, of course, there have been things that stay in the catalog for many years, but the majority, it seems, don't go past two years. All right. And ta-da, what do you guys think? That's an easy card. You could change your sentiment again. The sentiments in this set, meh, I'm not sure. They have specific uses. Now, hope it's your best day ever. That's a pretty general. That could be birthday, that could be retirement, that could be congratulations, I don't know, it could be a lot of things. But adventure awaits, that's probably more like retirement graduation. And then let your dreams set sail again, right? Graduation, retirement, probably. So don't, don't feel like you're locked in to those. You can always um, change the sentiment, which we're gonna do in the next two stamp sets. Okay, so super cute, easy background. Create your own DSP easily with Stampin' Blends, no problem. All right, now let's see what we're gonna do next. We're gonna make another card. If I can get everything situated. And we're gonna use that new paper that is available online. Um, Wendy, yes, I have seen the new in colors. Yes, I love them. Hi, Mom. Um, <laughs> I didn't know you were on here, Mom. Hi. Um, oh my gosh, Carol, your husband just sold his 32-foot sailboat. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Are you happy? I know sometimes my husband, we had the boat 
in the shop, you know, to be winterized and have oil changed. And he says boat stands for something. Oh, bust out a th another thousand. <laughs> bust out another thousand because you just spend so much money on them. Um, so sometimes selling your boat is like a relief because then you don't have to spend so much money on it. But I would be sad. We love our boat. I would be sad if we had to sell it. But sometimes you have to. Sometimes you get a new boat. Okay, so this is using this gorgeous paper. Um, I got to see this in person last week at the home office. This is what they call an acrylic pour. There was a canvas and cups of acrylic paint and the artist just poured it all and then it just dried. Um, I've showed you guys this paper many times here. I have half of a pack right here. It's so amazing. Um, it's just, I, I'm, I cannot tell you how stunned I was when I first saw this. Um, it looks very realistic, has a lot of texture. I love that one. So this paper is only available online right now. $11.50 for the pack. Uh, it's 12 by 12. And you get two sheets of each pattern. And uh, the blue patterns, I feel like, are all pretty interchangeable for the most part. Um, but then on the back side, you've got these kind of funky colors. I really like that one, um, the yellow and Calypso. Um, so I, I have a bunch of cards using this paper to share with you guys, and I just haven't done it. I've taken the pictures. I just need to share them um, because it is gorgeous. So I thought that was a good pairing with our sailboat. So we're gonna do, we're gonna use a basic white card base, basic white thick. You guys know we have two basic whites, right? We have basic white, which is for your stamping, and then basic white thick, which is designed for card bases. And it is much thicker and makes a much better card base than our basic white. Um, and I know I used to be the person who didn't wanna buy cardstock from Stamping Up, but it truly is worth every penny that you spend on our cardstock. It is a world of difference from cardstock you get other places. Just letting you know, it's amazing. Um, okay, now we're gonna do some embossing and this embossing folder is too big for the mini cut and emboss machine. We do have embossing folders for the mini, but not this one. Um, this one goes in the big guy. This is actually called Bark. It's designed to look like bark, but I think it looks an awful lot like water as well. So we're gonna put that in here, um, plate one and plate four. I know, I always, you guys are like, yeah, put your, it says right there, directions. What does it say? Put your, um, well, now I don't see it. Put your seam towards the inside. I don't like doing that. You know, it's a free country. I can put my embossing folder in however I want to put my embossing folder in. And then you guys can do it however you want to do it. <laughs> okay, and that's probably why my embossing folder is warped, but whatever, it's fine. Look at that. Bark or water, you decide. Now we're going to make it a banner, and the paper's too wide to fit in our banner punch. So what I like to do is just cut a line up the center like that and then go diagonal from the bottom corner up to the top of that line diagonal to the top of that line like that all right now let me get some um grid paper because we're going to use that misty moonlight marker again this time we're going to use dark and we're going to flick some ink on there like water splashes all right Okay, now we're gonna leave this here because we're also going to make the sun. I have a two and a fourth inch circle, basic white, and I used a one inch punch. I know we don't have those anymore, but I still use mine. <laughs> one inch circle punch just to make a little mask like this. And we're gonna make the sun. You can use any size circle you want. And this is Daffodil Delight and a blending brush. Um, Leah, she says, I love that your dogs love the boat too. Love is a strong word there. <laughs> Charlie loves being with my husband. So wherever he goes and my, and he gets to go with him, he loves, but the little one, I don't know if she loves the boat. We're trying to get her there. I don't know. She's a little nervous about it. 
a little bit, but it's, it's fun to take them. We don't take them all the time because it does kind of make it stressful for me. I get a little like, you know, oh, nervous that they're just going to dive off the back of the boat. My husband says, they know how to swim. I'm like, do they? I mean, they should, but I don't want to take that chance. All right, again, with this Horizon Reflection stamp at the bottom. Um, I think in my original, I actually used this stamp right here. This is to make a longer water, but either one will be fine. Now, we're going to do the same thing that we did with our first card. I'm going to use the exact same colors because I love those colors. And we'll punch them out. Um, and let's see. Oh. My comments stop sometimes. Whoa, I miss a lot of comments. Sorry, guys. Um, it's called the, Shelby, it's called the Bark 3D Embossing um, Folder, like Tree Bark, B-A-R-K. Hopefully, did I put it on this playlist? Hopefully. All right, slide that in. And punch. And then we'll do the other side. Again, and soft suede. I lost an ink pad. Have you guys ever done that? I completely lost my early espresso ink pad, which is weird because I don't, I don't take my ink pads anywhere. How does that happen? Maybe it got thrown away or mom, do you have it? No, I gave you, I gave you something different. Um, I gave you a stays on ink pad. Weird. I don't know. I am the worst about accidentally throwing things away. So it's probably somewhere thrown away, which is sad. And I don't even remember the last time I used early espresso. So, I mean, it could have been months ago, probably at Christmas time when I was using early espresso. Ugh, I hate that. But I ordered a new one. Um, I had some stamper rewards. It's a good thing to spend stamper rewards on if you need replacement ink pads. Our ink pads aren't necessarily designed to last forever. Demonstrator support will tell you that they are con a consumable item, um, which makes me feel better a little bit about when I need to throw one out and replace it. Because in my mind, I'm thinking, well, I should have been able to make that last. But the new foam, they say, are not lifetime. They used to have a different linen pad that seemed to last longer. All right, same deal. We just did the same thing, okay? Now, let me show you some dyes that I haven't used, but I love it. <laughs> Maybe pepper barred it. Um, you know what's funny, Carla, is I find a lot of things in the backyard. Um, I use earplugs at night because somebody snores. We won't get into that, but I have to wear earplugs at night. And I find the earplugs in the backyard. She loves to take anything that's mine or the girls or whatever and... We have to do like a toy roundup in the backyard. She drags everything outside. <laughs> She's a weirdo, that dog. All right, so these dies are called Amazing Thanks. I love a good word die. Why is this here? Hold on. This goes, okay, hold on. I'm, I was gonna be looking for that die. That's in the next project. These are called the Amazing Thanks dies and we are going to do the top layer in red and the bottom layer in white. And we are going to use an adhesive sheet on the top layer. Um, if you are like me and you make a mess, like a kindergartner with liquid glue, you need to add adhesive sheets to your order because they turn anything into a sticker. So I use liquid glue, but on things like this where I know I'm gonna need to get into fine lines, Definitely want an adhesive sheet. Um, <laughs> you know, Brandy, I have been begging for that option because I can't stand the earplugs. So far, no luck. No luck. All right, so we're going to do that and that. Um, I guess that's all. I was thinking there was something else we needed to cut out, but I don't think so. All right, so the adhesive sheet on the back will turn the thanks in. Why can't I get that picked up? Into a sticker and we're just, I'm not gonna put adhesive sheet on that one because it's thicker, it's much thicker and I'm gonna be able to put dimensionals on the back of that. Um, but I get a lot of use out of 
the adhesive sheets. Do you guys use them? I really do like them. All right, this is take your pick tool in case you just was were wondering what that was. Take your pick tool has several ends. I never talk about the take your pick tool, but I use it all the time. Has a piercer, it has a scoring end, has a sticky end to pick up like rhinestones. It has like a little spatula end. And, oh, and then there's the dye brush. I have that one. I have several so that I don't have to change them out. I know, I'm a little bit lazy sometimes. I don't wanna do that. Okay. <laughs> and then of course I can't find the one that I want and I end up changing it. <sighs> you love the adhesive sheets, Vicki, me too. Elaine, you too, yep. Anne-Marie, yep, I'm telling you. It's one of those things that you're like, mm, I don't want to spend my money on adhesive. Do it. They last a long time. The packaging is has a lot in it. All right, I have new nails today and they aren't working. There we go. There we go. Careful, careful when you take that off because it will rip. It's very delicate. And then I just like to start over here um, the thing about the adhesive sheets is that if you get a letter stuck and it's not right, it comes up pretty easily. I kind of like to just kind of set it there. See, I got to pull it up. You have to be gentle though. So I just kind of set it there lightly as I go through and lay these letters down right in the center like that. And then you can kind of press them down. Isn't that cute? I need a whole die set of words like thanks, hello, happy, smile, sweet, right? Like we need all those. We need them all. You know, I was there last week, but they still didn't ask. <laughs> I do have a funny story for you. I always make fun of the names, right? I'm like, who named this stamp set? That's a ridiculous name. Well, I met the person who <laughs> names stamps, one of the people, and it's really hard for them to name stamps. And now I feel bad for always making that joke. So I feel bad. I'm sorry. Um, for one, they can't name a stamp set the same name of a stamp set in the past. You know, after 30 something years, you have stamp sets that are similar to stamp sets in the past. Um, but you can't use the same name. You have to come up with a different name. You also have to deal with copyright. You know, there are a lot of things out there cop that are copyrighted. So I, f I just felt a little bad when she was, when I asked who comes up with the names, one of them was like, oh, I, it's part of my job. It's like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I said, hey, I know it's hard, but no, I did not um, Silver foil is part of the blue foils that goes with this DSP. We also have a pack of foil that is called silver foils. And that has a has two that are really silvery and then one in there is like purple, purple silver. The, so now the blue silvers have two blues and a silver. Did I say blue silvers? Blue foils, uh, clear as mud, I'm sure. All right, put that on with dimensionals and then many dimensionals. And me too, Leah, yes. I, I think Stamp It Up knows that die, word dies are very popular and on trend um, because we all have said, please give us more word dies and our stitched shapes back. <laughs> please bring back the stitched circles the stitched rectangles, or no, we have stitched rectangles, stitched squares, stitched ovals. All right, last but not least, we need a little bit of twine. It, I think it's kind of a masculine card, but you know, a twine bow is not gonna make it girly. This is the fan twine pack. There are three colors in this pack. There's this one, there's a poppy parade stripe that we're gonna use next, and then a green. Um, so even if it goes with uh, your biggest fan suite and if you're not a fan of your biggest fan <laughs> the twine will still work well for other things um, and there are three little bolts in the pack and you guys know how I feel about twine and 
Ta-da! We're done. Card number two. Look, my sun is much higher there with setting. <laughs> setting sun there. Okay, card number two. So if you love that paper, that DSP, make sure you get it because it is while supplies last. And it's available online only. Um, you know, when you go to the Stampin' Up! store, they have all the... There's a rotating banner at the top with all these specials. So if you're looking for it, it'll be one of those. And I have the item number on today's supply list. Okay, one more. And I love this one. Funny story about this one. You know, guys, I try to plan way ahead of time because I don't work well under pressure. So like if Facebook Friday is tomorrow, I have to have those projects done at least a week ahead of time. If it's the day before, I just cannot function. I cannot do things normally um quickly like that but this one i made yesterday <laughs> just you know i thought i had all the projects i wanted for facebook friday and when i pulled them out i realized one of them which i'm going to show you which is going to be on the blog on monday is way too complicated for a facebook friday if i had to cut all the pieces well i'll show you it has uh, nautical flags in the back that I just paper pieced. Google nautical flags, and then you just cut triangles, rectangles, squares, and you make flags. Um, and then I realized I don't want to cut all of that for Facebook Friday kits. So that's why I made a change. So, and I, I love what I came up with. So now I can say maybe I don't necessarily can't work under pressure. Maybe I can. Maybe I can. All right, so this um, box inside, and I actually made the box two different ways. Um, you would think I would remember when I made it the day before how to make it, but I made it different on the video. This one, I have the little tabs going on the inside of the box. This one, I have the tabs going on the outside of the box. Either way. Um, these Rip Van Wafers. Have you guys seen these? Um, it was a suggested item on Amazon, of course, because they know I'm constantly looking for little treats. Um, and the thing that really caught my eye is that it has four carbs in it. And when you're trying to do low carb, that's not very many. So I bought the box and I'm, I'm not going to feel guilty when I have one. Uh, now, if you're doing Weight Watchers, if I remember correctly, they're like five points, which is a lot. I don't know why that is, but... Anyways, they're hazelnut and they're delicious and they're just kind of a fun, different little treat. Um, I have them linked today on today's blog post if you want to check them out. They're not, they're, we're, if I, well, it's been a while since I bought them, but I wouldn't have bought them if they were crazy expensive. All right, so let's make the box first. The other thing I'm going to show you, you might not have seen it, I'm going to show you how to make a sailor's knot. Do you guys know how to make a sailor's knot? Yeah, Emery is laughing at me. Um, when I pulled that card out, I was like, oh no, what was I thinking? That would take me an entire day to cut all those pieces. So I had to kind of change things up. I'll still show you guys. I just don't want to cut all the pieces for you. Um, a sailor's knot. Do we have any knot makers out there? N knots is like a, a whole thing. Like there's all these knots and people who love to make knots. I'm not one of those, but I am a Googler and I can Google how to make a sailor's knot. So I'm going to show you how to make that. But first, let's make the box. Um, again, Misty Moonlight. I'm using up all my Misty Moonlight cardstock. So sad. Maybe it'll come back someday in a color revamp, but we don't know. We don't know if it will or not. Let me get my paper. Hold on. Let me get a drink, too. I'm very thirsty today. All the quiet around here. I haven't been talking very much. Okay. Measurements are right here. Let's see if they're right. <laughs> Let's see. Um, the cardstock is seven and three eighths by five. And you're going to score the long side at five eighths. The box itself is five eighths inch thick. Um, the box was designed for this, but if you don't have these or you don't want these, you can put whatever in the box. Whatever is fine. But it was designed to fit that perfectly. So five eighths, three and three eighths, four. And six and three fourths. One, two, three, four. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so far, so good. Um, five eighths again. And then four and three eighths, which is five eighths from the end. Okay, good. No typos this week. 
Well, I do see a typo. I put seven and three eight inches by five feet. <laughs> Lisa, who is my proofreader, knows that I make that mistake constantly because I'm typing too fast. But you guys know it's not five feet. All right, let's get our bone folder. And we're going to burnish these lines. Now, I'm going to show you the original way I had this box designed. If you want to see a different way to make it, you can go watch the clean recordings. They're all linked under today's uh, photos. They're all on YouTube. That's so if you want to come back and watch the video without all the chit chat, you can. So we're going to snip the score lines and I'm going to cut the corners off of the tabs. I think this is the better way to make it. The other way, I feel like the tabs kind of flap out. I mean, it still works, but I just like doing it this way better. All right, so do all those and then come over here and do all of these. Which color out of those five retiring colors are you guys gonna miss the most? If you could only pick one that was gonna stay or come back in a color refresh, I don't know if I could pick just one, but I think, oh, it's very hard. It's a very close tie between Bumblebee and Cinnamon Cider. Cinnamon Cider is a really good brown. I know. Would I really pick a brown over a pink? Yes, I think I would. Magenta Madness is good. I ju it's just not um, polished pink. I like polished pink better. Okay, now this is how I cut it yesterday, right? And this makes a clamshell box. You, that's when you put all the tabs in. The way that I originally had it, though, is I cut off two of the tabs. And I like this way better. All right, so when you do that, you also need to cut off the corners of the side tabs. That way they will fold down into your box, nice and neat. Okay, so like that. So that means that we're gonna put adhesive on the outside. Oh my gosh, I'm running late today. On the outside of these square tabs right here. And then, we're gonna take those and fold into the sides. And I like to take my little clothespins from the dollar store and just fold them in and hold them tight. And that way you don't have to stand there and hold it until the glue dries. You can use tear and tape too. You can use um, Stamp and Seal Plus, whatever you wanna use. All right, this time we're not gonna stamp the boat. We actually aren't using the stamp set at all. We are using only the punch. And I'm going to punch it just from basic white. Okay. And I have cut out, we're using two different papers. We're using the um, flowering fields designer series paper, you know, the tulips. And we're going to put that, no, let's use dimensionals. We're going to put that on a scalloped poppy parade. I believe this is two and a fourth inch, and then the scallop would be two and three fourths inch. And then we're gonna put our boat on, and when you don't stamp it, you could do it either way. And my other one, you'll see, look, they're, they're going, see how they're going towards each other. I don't like it for some reason like that. This is how it's designed to go. So take your little mast and turn it so that the flag is going to the right. Unless I'm overthinking it and no one cares, then just do it however you want to do it. But for some reason I was like, ooh, I don't know, it, it looks wrong. So flag going to the right and then we will do, again with dimensionals, right here, like this. That one goes, oops, I put my dimensional maybe a little bit too far out. Oh yeah, okay, let's take that off. We roll it off, put it a little bit closer down. Cinnamon Cider, Patricia says, Misty Moonlight is a close second. Magenta Madness, Kathy. I know, it's a good pink. And I loved it until Polish Pink came along and then I was like, 
what magenta madness i love polished pink too much man i put both of those in the wrong place um polished pink is way better than magenta madness i agree i you know magenta madness is more like a like a club pink <laughs> like a hot pink you'd wear in the 80s to the club or something i don't know it just i can't describe it any differently than that it's just kind of funkier I, I don't know what the word is but i like them both however i prefer polished pink okay so now this designer series paper is the heart and home the one that i said earlier when i was showing you those cards i got that i have not used we're going to put that right there on a piece of um poppy parade now sailor's knot all you have to do is google sailor's knot and you will find a plethora of directions and this one i found was the easiest this is actually from martha stewart and i have linked you to it on my blog today the 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 thing that makes this a little bit more difficult is that i'm going to use three strands that kind of complicates things a bit if you have thicker twine you would only need to use one so you're going to make a loop right and you're going to take this see right here and it goes over and then it it comes around like that and then it goes up and into the loop let's see if i can get it and then you just pull it and it's like a fancy sailor's knot now you could just not do that <laughs> if that's complicated don't do it i just thought it was kind of fun and i actually i don't know i had searched my blog for something i'd done in the past i can't remember what i was looking for and a card from a long time ago came up and it had a sailor's knot in twine and i was like oh i forgot about that so we're gonna use it on this box so i put a glue dot under it and then I'm just going to trim those and just tape it on the back. So there are lots of different kinds of knots out there. Believe me, there's a lot of information on the interwebs that you could find. But I thought four steps was simpler. I tried another one before that. And it was way too complicated. It was like eight steps. Like, okay, Martha, Martha can break it down in four steps make it a lot easier. All right, so we'll put that on with dimensionals overlapping our little sailor's knot. And then we're just gonna, we're almost done. I know I'm going way, way late today. We need to cut out, um, first we need to stamp this and emboss it. I am using the You're Amazing from the Your Biggest Fan. Um, you could use anything. I just wanted something small. So I'm going with this, Versamark Silver Embossing Powder. Let's see, I don't have anything to pour it into. Let's see if I can uh, do it without making a giant mess. I don't ever use silver embossing powder, but it looks so cool on the blue. Um, where's my heat tool? Um, Betty says, I'm a fall gal, so cinnamon cider. Yeah, cinnamon cider was a great fall color. I agree. Okay, let's see. I'm frozen on my on my comments again. Uh, <laughs> Martha's not messing around with those extra steps. No, Martha does not mess around about anything. You just go right to Martha. She'll get it done in two seconds. Ah, this is hot. My piece is too small. All right, so can you guys see it shiny? It was hard to photograph to show that it's shiny. Okay, now we'll bring over the little, the little baby again. And I'm using a die. We're just gonna use this side of this die. This is from the Potted Succulent dies. They've got some great labels in that die set, the Potted Succulents. I'm gonna tape this down so it doesn't slip. Run that through. like that and really quickly we're going to cut a heart also do i use a heart every week i kind of think i do i think i use a heart die every week i really like them 
this is again that paper that um waves of the ocean paper and i'm just going to cut a heart from that and now we're ready to put it all together and put our little treat in the box bring all of this again with the dimensionals of course depending on where you cut that heart it's gonna this one's like really light blue but you can see that one is a darker blue and then we'll put this i think i'll put this flat we're going to slide it under oops we need to cut it a little bit shorter like that and now our box should be ready let's get all the trash cleaned up the box is somewhere around here here we go take off your clothes pens it should be dry put in your little snack it's a perfect fit and then these just fold down into the box like so and we'll just adhere this with some stamp and seal i can get it to come out and done i think that these the sailboat lends itself nicely to masculine projects see this one is the one that i did wrong but it still is right see how i glued those together and it goes over either way you want to do it what do you guys think cute and i like a sailboat where you're you don't have to stamp it too. That makes it even faster um, than, uh, you know, stamping. Okay, so before you go, I have some extra projects I'm gonna show you. Um, this one I'll have on the blog next week with those nautical flags. This one is Anne Marie's card. Anne Marie is in my downline and she's also my friend. She always stamps the inside. She's so fancy. She used the little, um, small circle from the tasteful oh no what's it called in good taste no what's it called tasteful label dies right there and she did her um sailboat in two different colors and then her, you know what she used that what is that embossing folder called um it looks like plaster that's a good one too and then i've got this one and um you know more muted tones very cute. And this one I love with the anchor. We've got a set of dies that has an anchor. It has um, a wheel, a boat, you know, a wheel for the boat. It's got um, plants and stuff. It, we've had them for several years and they get no attention. So make sure you check them out. They're called this. Oh, I have it written down. Hold on. Oh, no, I don't have it on here. I didn't use it. But it is on that blog post from yesterday. This Something with the C's. And then, is there one more? Did I show you that one? I showed you that one. I showed you that one. I'll have these on the blog. Don't worry. And then these are the ones that we just made. Okay, that's it. You guys, if you would like these make and takes for free, make sure your order is in Monday by midnight. Here's the host code. It's also at the top and it's on today's blog post. There's a link over to my store. Order anything you want. It doesn't have to be the... Um, the sailboat bundle it can be whatever you want if you already have a sailboat bundle but you want the projects um it could be those in color you know things before they're sold out that would be something i would suggest okay you guys have a great weekend next week i don't know what we're doing i have a lot of things halfway done i've got the special delivery is that what it's called the truck i've got the hedgehog i've got the easter stamp set and then i've got the wildlife i've got a lot of things in progress Stay tuned. I don't know what we're doing next week, but it'll be cute. I promise. All right. Have a great weekend, you guys. I'll see you next week. Thanks for joining me. Bye.